still waking up. Um, having my cup of coffee. Uh, just before work. It's uh, 7.30 in the morning or something. <laughs> Yesterday I finished getting the shop all dealt with. So you'll be seeing that today. Yay. Uh, just thought I'd show this to you while I'm working on it. I don't know if I'm going to take it to the shop today. Let's see if I can figure this out. Oops, wrong. Okay. So, I decided that, like, I haven't made a campfire cardigan in quite a while. Right? And I thought, I'm going to make one. <laughs> yeah. Um... I'm using a, what am I using for a hook? Oh, a six millimeter hook. So I figured it's not going to take very long, right? I, I didn't realize that I hadn't worked with four weight yarn in a long time. Um, <laughs> I guess, well, I've, I've been doing a lot of amigurumi over the summer. And I haven't made any wearables, really. And so I kind of got out of the mode of using regular yarn with a regular hook. And so I thought, okay, let's make this campfire cardigan. It's going to go really quick. No problem. I started making it, and I got, I don't know how many rows in. And I was so bored. And I was so... Like, I was like, I am so over this. I'm done. So I decided that I was going to make it into a kid's sweater. So. <sighs> started making this. Is this? Uh, no, there we go. So I started making this way. Now I'm using um, Craft Smart Value in black, and then this these colors. This is the Moody Mosaic. The I love. I think it's I love this yarn in the Moody Mosaic. So, <clears throat> so I I finished the first part. Oops, the first side. So now I'm going to start on the second side. I got this much done. And, uh, yeah, I'm just going to make it into a kid's sweater because I'm just so over it. I'm just like, no, <laughs> I'm not doing this. <laughs> wow. Like, I couldn't believe it. I was just like, why am I so bored with this? Like, <clears throat> oh, bizarre. Anyway, so, yeah, I'm just going to do this for a little while. Oops, before work. And, um. I'm watching Amethyst Crafts. Hi! Uh, and uh, she's doing an m and uh, stitch tag. So, I may have to do that on another video. So, uh, yeah. So, next, after this, you guys are going to be seeing my new shop. Are you excited? I am totally excited. I, I love the way the shop turned out. Um... Yeah, it looks fantastic. So, and I feel so at home there now. And, uh, yeah, it's going to be great. So, have you guys noticed that it's it's getting darker now? I guess fall is here, which really sucks. It's uh, <clears throat> It's dark when I get up in the morning now starts getting dark when I'm coming home. Oh, I hate that part of the year. But, what are you going to do, right? So, <coughs> excuse me. Um, yeah, so, yeah, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> so, here we go. We have moved the shop again, and we are doing the back wall. 
Uh, this is the first coat. Uh, we're starting the second coat over here. And Michelle is like up, <laughs> up so high. <laughs> and um, yeah, it was, uh, it was a bit of a chore to do this. Luckily, we have a friend next door that's a painter and he helped us with the, the edging because we're all terrified to be up there. <laughs> but we're doing it. And yeah, it looks really dark, but I think once we get the, um, the mural up, it's gonna be really cool. So wish us luck. And we have our cheer cheerleader. Hey, don't we? Say, hi Mason. Hey, let's see your smiley face. Say hi. Say hello. He's like, he's like, what are you guys doing? You guys are crazy. <laughs> yeah. <gasps> oh. Oh. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to show you guys the shop. You ready? Okay, here we go. Here's the beginning. I got my sign. Ta da! Isn't that cool? Okay, so here's my stuff is hanging here. And then I've got my yarn wall here. And then you come in. And I've got some stuff hanging here. Here's my new I've got my new kits that I just did with my uh, crisscross applesauce beanie. And then it comes here. And then I've got my desk, which is a mess right now, but <laughs> you guys get the idea. Good night. Okay. And then I've got my all my jewelry and stuff here I'll bring you out a little bit all my jewelry and stuff is here this is a mess <laughs> this is like all my stuff that I'm using this is the donation yarn for anybody that wants to do donations for the homeless and then I've got this display this used to have all my amigurumi on it but now it's all yarn my baby sweaters okay and then I've got my mannequin over there and then I've got the dis yarn display and I've got this table this a customer made this she bought some um, yarn from me and she made this and then she came in and she gave it to me Good night. And she gave it to me, and I was quite touched. I thought, oh my goodness, that's so sweet. Um, so I got the table, and I've got the pickles. And then I have a bargain bin with some extra yarn. I've got all my jewelry. I've got some stuff down here. And then I've got some of my amigurumi here for right now just to kind of fill the shelf this corner is going to be for Jeanette we're going to have all of her stuff here and all of her stuff on here so that's all prepared and then I've got <clears throat> all of my hats on here I've got my scarf here I've got some more hats here and then I've got my wall of random stuff right now so
so yeah so that's what it looks like what do you guys think what do you guys think I got my wall of earrings here so yeah I am so excited to get Jeanette's stuff in here it's gonna look so good so yeah so this is my yarn shop guys hi okay so what do you think of this shop it's uh yeah it's um been a bit of a go I'm I'm happy with it um I can't wait to get Jeanette's stuff in there oh you guys are crooked uh, because <clears throat> I think that will really attract <clears throat> hang on as I was saying I think that'll really attract customers um, <sighs> yeah so because it's not very busy right now <clears throat> um, it's the changing of the season mm -hmm. changing of the seasons um, so oh whoops I'm breaking things now so um, yeah it's the tourist season is stopping and so we're transitioning uh, <clears throat> and I don't like this transition period because you know now I'm having heart palpitations going am I gonna make my rent so but I started making a um, little sweater. Did, was I talking about it in this video or last video? I don't even remember. Anyways, I started making um, a campfire cardigan, like the hexagon cardigan. I started making one thinking, geez, I haven't done that in a while. I started making it and absolutely hated it. I mean, not hated it, but I hated the process. What is happening here? I, I hated the process because I wasn't used to using a hook that small or anything anymore. So I started making it into a kid's sweater and I just got it together. Now I'm working on the, the cuff, um, the cuffs and the collar. <clears throat> so here it is. Isn't that cutie? So I'm gonna do the little cuffs to bring it in, and then it's gonna have the little ribbed collar going around. But isn't it cute? And this is using the Moody Mosaic, the I Love This Yarn Prince Moody Mosaic Prince, print Prince Moody Mosaic. So, yeah, so that's together. So I'm gonna work on that when I get home. And uh, I guess I should get going because it's sitting in front in the parking lot of where my shop is. So anyway, um, so I've had a bit of a week and it was, it was an emotional week. Um, so, what had happened was, <laughs> as Seta would say, um, I don't think I talked to you guys about this. I don't. I don't remember. But I, I've been putting posts out for the shop. You know, and saying, hey, this is who we are, and you know, come on, see us, whatever. And then I did the post about, um, you know, if you're interested in doing some donations for the um, Shimanus neighborhood house here, um, you know, come on in, and I've got some yarn if you need it, and you know, some donation yarn and stuff like that. and. I never got a response. And then I put out the, oh, well before that, I put out um, 
a message saying, <clears throat> um, I've got a table with chairs here, and if you are, if you were wanting to um, come and sit at the shop, you can spend all day at the shop, and you'll get perks and everything else. Oh, hello. Uh, you'll get perks and stuff, like uh, a percentage off the yarn, um, swag bags, uh, patterns, free patterns, stuff like that. You know, um, you can bring your coffee, like you can go to the coffee row is where uh, the shop in Shimanus, in the market that we're in, um, go grab, oh God, I can't see, go grab a coffee and a snack and bring it to the shop and you can sit, relax, um, sorry guys, there's going to be a glare until I get up this hill, um, well, there was a couple of ladies that I guess didn't like that. There's a knit and crochet group at the library that across the street that gets together on Thursdays and um, I don't know if the person that got it together thinks that I'm trying to step on their toes or what the heck the problem was but they um, somebody put uh, a resident, Shimanus resident, put out a post saying, I want to learn how to crochet or knit. Do you know of anybody that can, does classes or whatever? And everybody was saying, oh, go to my spirit raven. Um, she's got a table there and she's going to be doing classes. <clears throat> and so, hang on. God darn it. So, um, So anyways, somebody from the knit crochet group went in there and said, yeah, but she charges $5 to go and sit in her shop. Well, I guess this lady was poisoning the well, so to speak. And yeah. Um, <clears throat> so another lady was saying, this thing is driving me nuts. Hang on. Sorry. So anyways, this other lady, um, I guess that runs the group or whatever, was saying, oh no, come to the library. We have what you need. We, we can help you with whatever you need and all this stuff. So anyways, there was like a real shit show that happened on this Facebook feed and I had people defending me I had like it was just it was crazy it was really crazy so anyway I basically gave up and I said enough I need a new one of these uh, I said enough's enough so I took the table and chairs out of my shop and I put a post out that basically said, you know, I'm sorry, but I had to take the table and chairs out. It's a wasted space basically because, you know, it, uh, it's not being used. Um, and I said, you know, it, it really makes me sad to think that there are some people in the community that would like to see me fail. <clears throat> and uh, if you want to see the post, just go to the My Spirit Raven page on Facebook. I think I have the link down below. Um, and. Let me tell you, I cannot believe in the last two days the support that has come.
come out um, from the community. Um, they they not only supported me online, but I had a whole bunch of ladies come in, come into the shop. Give me well wishes and I had ladies coming up and giving me hugs and telling me that they support me 100% and that they're so angry at what's happening and that um, I've had women come up and say that when they read my post they cried and they were just like so pissed off and that, you know, that people were trying to um, discredit me, I guess. So, yeah, I mean, today a lady, she's a, um, a wonderful lady that comes in, she's a regular. She comes in and she says hello to everybody. She supports our businesses. Um, and... It was totally unexpected, but she came in and she was saying, you know, like, I'm so sorry that this happened and I'm just so angry about it. And, you know, and she was, you know, talking like that. And then she says, keep a smile on your face. And then she started singing a song to me. song that my mom used to sing and I started to bawl my eyes out and I knew right then and there that my mom was with me and it was a message from my mom saying you know keep your chin up kid it's gonna be okay sitting in the middle of my store, standing in the middle of my store with this lady, just, you know, and I tell you, oh, that blew my mind. And she, she said, I'm going to keep coming into your shop. And every time I come into your shop, I'm going to give you a hug. And because she asked me, she says, I read your post and I cried. And she says, I'm just so angry. And she says, I made, a, I didn't feel like going out tonight, today because I got gout in my foot and I was in pain. But I wanted to make sure I came in today to give you a hug and tell you that I, I care about you and I support you. And I was just like, uh, my mind was blown. Um... I've had other women coming into the shop. Like yesterday, I had a woman come into the shop. I was I was writing a, a sign, um, and I had my head down, and I looked up, and she was like right there, and I was like, "Oh, hello." <laughs> she says, "I just wanted to come in and tell you, you know, how angry I am." at the community right now and how dare they do this to you and you're such a sweet lady you know you you're talented your shop looks fantastic and she just went on and on and then she says you know I just want you to know that I support you and you know keep keep going don't let the haters hate and you know let the haters hate and don't take it to heart and um, you're gonna be just fine and then she was gone and I was like, okay. <laughs> oh, excuse me. So this has been happening all day for the last two or three days. And I am just blown away. Absolutely blown away. <sighs> so, um, 
I put a thank you uh, message out today. <clears throat> and I'm hoping that all of those ladies see that and know how much I appreciate them and how much I appreciate their support. Um, because, I mean, they didn't have to just come into my shop and tell me that, you know, like, they, they have their own lives, they didn't, I'm, who am I, you know, I'm just, I'm just a lady that has a shop, right, like, and they made a point of coming in and telling me how disgusted they are, uh, with what's going on, so, and apparently, there's a few ladies in this group, um, that are now supporting me and they are not happy they didn't know what was happening um, and now they're on my side I mean I I was it was not my intention to piss anybody off uh, that was not my intention my intention was the fact that these ladies in the library are in a room with four white walls they can't take food or drink in the library. You know, they it's it's not an inviting atmosphere in there. And I wanted to give them somewhere that they could come where it was comfortable, where they could enjoy their time there, where they're surrounded by beautiful yarn and they're you know surrounded by good company and you know, where they could sit, have a cup of coffee, have, you know, a, a snack, um, and enjoy their time as a fiber artist, you know, and that's all I wanted. That's all I wanted. I wasn't trying to break up their group. I was inviting the whole group to come whenever they wanted. And but it was the fact that I was trying, I was charging a $5, you know, donation fee that got them all riled up because at the library it's free. So, and I said in my post, I says, you know what? I've doubled my rent. I listened to you, what you guys wanted and I gave it to you. I've doubled my rent. I've doubled my hydro, you know, and... I've doubled my space to give you guys what you wanted and I didn't think that five dollars was a whole lot to ask because um, I was going to be giving back to them right like I I, I don't know but anyway so now I'm I'm feeling a lot better about the situation. I now know that there's a lot of support uh, and I'm looking forward to the future. So yeah, so that's been my week in a nutshell. So anyways, there's an ambulance that's gonna be coming up beside me pretty soon. So I'm gonna go. Uh, and I will talk to you guys in a bit.